I get it. Everybody has their own way of playing their favourite game, and Age of Empires is no exception. And with Age of Empires 4 coming out, I decided that I'd go back to the way that I learned to play. Of course, there's the campaigns, which people really love, especially when it came out in Age of Empires 2, with all the different missions that you could move through, playing as different characters, and completely different scenarios. Some people love using the editor, making your own maps, whether it's tower defences, or going full-out RPGs using mods. And of course, Age of Empires has a massive competitive community, but unfortunately with this comes quite a bit of gatekeeping. I've seen a lot of people in the past when I've made videos saying you're playing Age of Empires wrong. This is how you should be doing it. And of course with any game that's ridiculous. The Age of Empires series has been one of my longest lasting franchises that I've been playing on PC. It was the first game I ever played and I've been playing the whole series up to Age of Empires 4 to this day. So when the stress test came out me and my friend James hopped on what we knew and what we loved. Playing co-op against the AI. Now notoriously the AI has been so varied between the games. Age of Empires 1's AI was interesting. Age of Empires 2 AI got way better and especially with the HD and Definitive Editions it actually got pretty decent. Spirit of the Law is a massive Age of Empires YouTuber and he's even made videos comparing all the AIs, even fighting the AIs with each other. It's a really entertaining video and if you want some in-depth analysis of Age of Empires I definitely recommend his channel. But I love testing out how the computer plays. Sometimes they cheat, sometimes they don't and I wanted to see how it had been improved in Age of Empires 4. So me and James hopped on, we joined the same team, we picked a map that had some good variation of land and naval combat, and we set ourselves up against one AI opponent. So let's see how good they still are. Because this, my friends, this is the way I love to play Age of Empires. This video is brought to you by Ace Defender. Ace Defender is an incredibly high quality SRPG with tower defense elements, taking players through the story of a rebellion in the Dragon Clan that threatens the balance of good and evil. It is the job of you, the hero, Alpida the Silver Dragon Princess, to fight this evil. The game has over 40 chapters that can be played with a mixture of authentic turn-based RPG battles and tower defense modes, with the five factions, Divine, Demon, Nature, Shadow, and Light. Choose one of the 48 heroes with new additions coming every two weeks. There is always a new way to play and enjoy this RPG landscape. Not only can Ace Defender be played in solo, in player versus environment game modes, but also online with a full PvP experience with multiple lineups to enjoy. So if you want to try it out, new users who download from the link in the description below will receive the following when they reach level 10. 150,000 gold, 700 diamonds, 7 royal recruit tickets, 50 blue and hero fragments, 50 rare purple random equipment fragments, and a legendary hero, Lipez. Yes, that is a hell of a lot of value. So check it out in the link in the description below. They're like, they're like moving slowly on their own, but if I move them with the scout, they start goddamn sprinting. They love it. They're loving it. They're following the scout around. That is amazing. Any more and sheeps? Right, can I do the on upgrade? Oh, I can. Do I make chapel? Inspired units in a large radius. Or acts like a blacksmith. Yes. I wanted the blacksmith one. I wonder how fast the AI is going to be attacking in this. Well, they have to have boats. So I assume we've got a little bit of time. I like how all the houses like link up their roads and have little gardens and things. It's cool. Oh, enemy boat. Get it. I'll kill it. Oh, the war music's begun. Okay, I can build hulks. Oh, what's happening over here? Oh, God. I'm being attacked by junk. What? Oh, they're getting... Oh, my God, run away. They had more than I anticipated. <laughs> ah, this one's been split off from the pack. Yes. Get ready, lads. Right. Get ready, boys. All right, I can self-repair. That's fine. Yeah, you're in your dock, so... I'm under attack. Should be fine. Ah, they're retreating. Oh, my God, they actually retreat in this game. What? The AI has been made. Can you cut them off? Cut them off. Cut them off. Yes. Yes. It's trying to duck and weave, but it's struggling. Oh, it's it's gonna go down. It's on fire, I think. <laughs> oh no, that's a fishing boat. You got. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm no, screwed. You're right. You're right. You're fine. You're fine. Relax. They're landing. They've landed. Go on, ships. Get them. Get them, boys. Oh, mace them up. Mace them up. Hell yeah. Enemy capturing sacred site. Wait, we need to go over to that neutral eye. Okay, let's land our infantry and then let's take our ships back to help. Yes, I've got monks. We're good. 
Right, they're sending like one ship at a time. Although, to be fair, me and you together have a mad fleet. Oh, I can build hand cannoneers, my favourite. That's a very effective wall, definitely, James. Gonna stop a lot yeah. from getting in. Although, I guess it does give them a range bonus. I'm taking the fight to the enemy. See if you can get in my, my ships, my transport ships by the relic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> nope, I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> I'll stay here. They ran away. We good. Have fun. No, nope, not risking that. I'm bringing ships down. Keep moving, boys. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, you are sailing your full transport ships straight into enemy ships. I'm going to try and escort them, but... Oh, they've got four transport ships down here. Not for much longer, but they're used to. Oh, they've got... Oh, God! They've got fire tings! Oh, my God. They were ready for you, eh? Ship battle commencing. I need to find somewhere to land. Can I land here? I might be able to land at the bottom. Here we go. The moment of truth. Can we land? Yes! Men, get oh, in there! Oh, they've landed. They've landed people on my island. Oh, it's one guy. Oh, rip. More landing needed. My troops are on. We're in. I just want my cannons to land and then we can cause havoc. Havoc. Here we go. The landing's happening. Oh, your troops have gone on as well. I forgot you put troops in. Epic, 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 epic mode. Oh, God, yeah. All right, cannons, we need you now. We need you to do bits. Oh, here come the cannons. I'm going to build a battering ram. Relax. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you can build things with your troops. You, oh, my God, on you can. Go. You need... Oh, my population capacity is reached. That's amazing. That's uh, fucking awesome. Uh, also, my longbowman can do that, which sets a camp and heals themselves. Can I heal my guys in your camp? I don't Probably not. know. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, we destroyed their landmark. Come on, 54 seconds. Let's go, boys. They're retreating. Keep pushing in. Right, monkey boys, where are you? Where are my monks? They're at the back. <laughs> you can't call them monkey boys. Well, they're monks. Oh, they've got cavalry coming in. And I didn't bring spears. It's a bit better that your guys throw torches now rather than just hitting it with a sword and then setting buildings on fire. <laughs> well, my longbowmen are just firing fire arrows. Also, my battering ram. <laughs> I expected it to just die. <laughs> <laughs> That's very OP, actually. You can put people inside it, Yeah, James. yeah. You can, you can, you can, I mean, I, I wasn't going to because I've got ranged units, so I thought it was kind of Your meaningless. Your battery ram is, he's got a mind of his own, he's on a rampage. Oh, this is amazing. I, I can just, I can just keep building them, you know, like, Kill them it just monks. costs wood and three capacity and that's it. That's kind of overpowered. It's you ridiculous. A ton of battering rams. How much damage do they do? A reasonable amount. They're not like, they're quite slow, but I mean, if you build enough of them, they tear buildings down pretty fucking quickly. I also love how they've got a villager by the coast trying to repair a landmark. I'm gonna the get, landmark just keeps getting shot by I'm your ship. I'm gonna go ships. and execute him with my hand cannon. Are you ready? Oh, oh, he got shot by a ship. Ah, kill the traders. They're all part of the same team. My archers are it? taking on an enemy ship. Oh, he did Is it. Yeah. There, we did it. Woo! Victory! We're the best. So, what are your thoughts? on your first game of Age of Empires 4. Hey, look, it's fun. And it, I think it's an improvement over the regular Age, the Age of Empires 2, was it, that we've been playing? So, yeah, I like it. I think it's good. How much is it going for? Oh, it's 50 quid. Oh, uh, it's not worth that. Well, we haven't played the full game yet. It's got a full campaign and everything. Yeah, I... Mm, mm, 50 is steep. I'd say you could it probably is. get 30 for it. Yeah, I think 30 is a good price. I mean... And call it a decent game. It does depend how big the single player is, but I don't think single player has always like, been the biggest part of Age of Empires. No, no, it definitely hasn't. But uh, uh, one thing I will say is the, the level of zoom, terrible. Really yes. bad. Either yeah. they need to make units smaller and more manageable, or they need to allow you to zoom out just a little bit further. Yes. They don't need to do massive amount. I understand that you shouldn't be able to zoom out and see the entire map. That's overpowered. Um, there's supposed to be that level of, of drawing you in so you can't be fully aware of everything that's going on. Otherwise, it just makes it a little bit too easy if you can see everything. But the, especially with the ships, the sh like you could fit like five ships on a screen and then they were off the edge. It's ridiculous.